Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat. You're watching I Gyan. It's that time of the day of the week. It's time for Tech So Far. So let's get started. Tech So Far. Biggest story this week is that Microsoft is planning on acquiring TikTok and all its operations from China and bringing it to the US. So TikTok will then become a American owned company and then also the app will become American owned and then all the bans that have been put for TikTok can be lifted up easily. Now, the US government has given a deadline for TikTok to either sell its operations to an American company for the US or to completely disable services in the US. While TikTok could let go of its American arm for operations uh, just to get out of this ban, the problem is that uh, the Chinese government is also intervening and doesn't want TikTok to sell its shares and says that this is mafia-like behavior for the government to pressurize TikTok into selling its US operation. ByteDance, the company that owns TikTok, has been evaluated for the TikTok variant of their acquisition at about $30 billion. And if the company sells its operations, it is likely that Microsoft also wants to acquire the entire TikTok services, including American and other countries. And if Microsoft does acquire it, so countries like India, which have put a ban on TikTok, will also lift the ban from TikTok because it will no longer be a Chinese-owned app. So let's see what happens. 30 billion dollars is a lot but the closer they get to the deadline the valuation of the company will get lower and lower because they've already lost a few markets including india and if they lose the american market their uh, valuation as an app will go down considerably so pubg mobile has an exclusive agreement with oneplus uh, to allow certain oneplus devices to run the game at 90 fps so if your screen has a 90 hertz refresh rate that means that OnePlus 7 Pro, OnePlus 7T all series, and OnePlus 8 all series, so the 8 and the 8 Pro, uh, will support PUBG at 90 FPS. That's because they have a 90 hertz or more refresh rate on the display. You can play the game up until August 25th, which is, I think, the exclusivity with OnePlus, and they say that this is a trial only till then, but I feel that either immediately after this trial ends or maybe a week later, you will find that PUBG will roll out this feature to all devices that can support 90 FPS gameplay. And you'll find that option being enabled for your phone uh, soon enough if you do have a phone which has a display with a faster refresh rate uh, than 90 Hertz. More OnePlus news, Oxygen OS 11 has already started seeding out at least the first edition of the developer preview. And in that, we are seeing a lot of new improvements with Oxygen OS, a system-wide dark mode, which will be appreciated by a lot of people. You're also seeing a always on display, which will show you how many times you turn on the screen during the day. So very intuitive uh, when it comes to those kind of things. But more importantly, there is a massive change in uh, the way the UI is uh, designed this time around. So typically you would see OnePlus as having a stock Android skin, but this time around it looks more like uh, Samsung's One UI. And a lot of people who are Oxygen OS loyalists uh, will not be happy with this change because it changes from a stock user interface to a more skinned user interface uh, with Oxygen OS 11, at least in the first preview. That may change uh, by the time the final release comes out. But if you do like the original Oxygen OS, you should start voicing out uh, your opinions on social media to OnePlus already because if you don't like Samsung's One UI style of icons and skinning on your OnePlus device, you'll have to let the company know that you don't like it. So possibly go tweet to OnePlus or send them an email. Uh, if you like the original design, they can make sure to change that by the time the final release comes out. Now, August 11th marked the 10th anniversary for Xiaomi. So if you've used Xiaomi phones, you'll realize that the first Mi One came out in uh, 2010 on August 11th. But that has changed, the world has changed, things have changed, and they sell the largest number of phones in India, at least in a certain segment. So Xiaomi has also launched the Mi 10 Ultra, which is an ultra phone, much like Samsung's Ultra devices. This one also has a 120X a zoom lens, a periscope lens attached to the back of the phone, which makes it really exciting for a lot of people. Now, the pricing would be much more affordable than what Samsung is selling their current Note Ultra at. 
which has been seen to be really expensive. The phone also has a 120 watt fast wireless charging. Presently, the phone is only available in China and it has been launched for a price of 57,000 rupees. A lot of the other features are shared with the original Mi 10. Uh, some differences here and there will definitely improve the performance of the phone, but we'll have to see if the company even launches it in India or even if people would be interested in buying a phone like this in India. Would you be interested in buying a Mi 10 Ultra in India? Let us know in the comment section below. Now, Nokia is known to bring their phones to India much later than the global markets. The Nokia 5.3 is expected to come to India even though it was launched way back in March alongside the Nokia 8.3. We're going to see uh, the phone launch in India at a interesting price and specifications include 6.55 inch LCD display, Qualcomm Snapdragon 655 octa-core CPU, a 13 megapixel main camera, a 5 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera and a 2 megapixel depth camera. So a whole bunch of cameras on the back along with 4K video recording capabilities. So would you be interested in buying a Nokia 5.3? Uh, let us know in the comment section below. So the iPhone 12 event has been moved to October instead of September, whereas the Apple Watch and the new iPad will be launched in September on September 7th via a press announcement and not an event. So the iPhone 12 devices will launch and be available for pre-order according to leaks on October 12th itself, uh, but will start shipping on October 19th, whereas the iPhone 12 Pro devices, which will possibly include the iPhone 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max, will have orders and shipping sometime in November according to the latest leaks. So if this happens, then Apple's whole uh, schedule has been moved forward and iPads and Apple Watches and iPhones will all be pushed for at least a month, if not more, uh, to when they become available to people who've been waiting for the September event to happen. If all of this turns out to be true, then we'll see a launch event in October and that too, if things cool down as far as the pandemic is concerned. So Nvidia is all set to launch their 3000 series of graphics cards and uh, tweets as well as leaks point towards a launch which is around the corner. Early September is when we should see a launch event from Nvidia and uh, in that they will launch their new Ampere edition graphics cards uh, which a lot of people have been waiting for. September 9th is the date when basically 21 years will be complete for Nvidia and the first GPU that they launched the 256 would have completed 21 years and according to some leaks if you multiply 21 by 256 you get 5376 which is the count of course that was leaked for nvidia's upcoming gpus so will we see a gpu with that kind of performance being launched from nvidia expectations are high and nvidia will possibly deliver we'll have to see what pricing bracket they put their gpus in because a lot of people in india couldn't support the prices or couldn't afford the prices of the 2080 Ti series. So it will Nvidia bring down the prices? Will Nvidia take up the prices? Uh, we're not too sure, but are you looking for a new graphics card? And if you are, would you wait for the newer generation or are you pulling the plug on uh, the current generation? Let us know. Now it's time for that part of the video that a lot of you guys wait for. It's time for Team IGAN Talk. So the first comment, comes from Tamil Das. He says, I can used to be and still is the only tech channel which I prefer for quality tech content. And he says that he's the oldest fan with a heart emoji. Thank you, Tamil. I appreciate the fact that you've been watching for so many years. And if you have been, then thank you. And all your kind words are appreciated. The Noob says, most decent guy on YouTube since 2012. Really now. Because I want to. Pash is asking when will the OnePlus Buds review will come, when the OnePlus Buds review will come, not when will, the will should be before the, anyway. So the Buds are on their way to us, uh, hopefully, and if they are, uh, then we'll do a review. I wanted the blue ones, uh, but Amazon only had the white ones, uh, so we reached out to OnePlus to send us a pair of Buds, but they haven't sent them yet, so I guess I'll go to their website now because they're available on the website and we can pick one up from there and we'll do a review for you guys if you guys are interested. So Anurag says, finally the premiere starts and you and guess what, your video quality is unmatched, keep up the great work. This is on the Kia Sonnet uh, unveiling premiere. Thank you so much Anurag. Uh, I know that you guys really liked some of the car content that we've been doing and we have lots more car content headed your way and uh, 
I'm sure you guys will enjoy that as well. Uh, we are putting in uh, our effort and let's see what the result looks like. So Shashank says uh, in top tech, the set of product selection, the set of product selection is getting worst versus what it used to be. Let's fix that for you. The set of products that have been selected are getting worse than what they used to be. <laughs> Shiva Seth says, Bharat, you don't look well. Is everything all right? Shiva, I don't even see your head. Is everything all right? Sahil says, damn, it's hot. I know, thank you. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tech so far. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe to Team iGyan and the iGyan YouTube channel. And until next time, take care, have a great day, and uh, carry on looking at your tech so far. So the September event has been moved to August. What? So the September event has been moved to October for the iPhone 12 launch, whereas in August, buy my key.